When I'm training for professional competitions, men and women always ask me for advice. To women, I say push yourself harder than you ever have before and go beyond your comfort zone. Focus on your goals. Men, if I am willing to push myself to become Mr. Olympia in 2022, then I only have one thing to say to you. Bring your A-game. Here we go again. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform, man. Much love. Appreciate all the love and the support. And we back with another video. And in this video, I want to let brothers know, and I, I need brothers to really, really understand this because this is a hard lesson that I had to learn, but it's a lesson that should be learned by every man. And that is to never forget it's business. Never forget. Don't ever forget. It's business. And I say that because a lot of times, a lot of us brothers, we try to do business with our friends sometimes, you know, we try to get in to business with, with people we grew up with, you know, you and your homies, y'all growing up, you know, y'all might want to, um, sell clothes together or like, I'm going to just give y'all an instance of my own. Me and my homie, we hung out every day, right? It was me and two of my other homies. We hung out every day. We did everything together. And, but one of my friends, he was more well off than us. You know, um, he used to get like, I think he used to get like a hundred dollars a week for allowance, you know, all types of shit. And what he started doing was he would save up his allowance money and he will go and buy clothes to sell. But we didn't know that he was actually going to buy the clothes. Me and my man, which is his man, thought he was boosting the clothes because this was back in the early 2000s. You know, we from New York. B boosting is a thing. People still boost today. So we thought, my man was going and he was boosting clothes. And, you know, back in back in the early 2000s, when we were still in high school and and right when we got right out of high school, you know, we was wearing academic. Um, we was wearing e -Vizel, Um We was wearing a Nietzsche. Um, what else? We was wearing red monkey jeans. Y'all remember that era. So my man, he used to go and he used to get all the academic jeans. Um, Von Dutch. He's selling Von Dutch. And he's making a bank. He was making a killer. So me and my man, you know, we less off than him. So we like, yo, put us on. So he like, all right, yeah, I got y'all. So he comes back with the merchandise or whatever. He gives us Von Dutch hats, right? Now, mind you, we think he's still in these clothes. Now, if you going out and you boosting, of course you boosting from the stores that sell the official stuff. So... Me and my man, we running up and down Flatbush Avenue trying to sell these Von Dutch hats. We gets into a barbershop. We trying to sell the hats. Dudes locked the door on us. Click, click, click. Yo. I, yo, why y'all in my shop trying to sell us fake merchandise? Me and my man looking like, 
Nah, them joints not fake. The dude goes in his drawer and pulls out a real Von Dutch hat and, sh and shows us everything. Like, nah, this is real. What y'all selling is fake. He was like, I'm going to give y'all young dudes a pass, but don't be on my ass selling fake shit. And he kicked us out the spot. Now we go back to our man. Of course, of course, <laughs> we we ready to put hands on him. Cause because that could have got us hurt, literally. Like them dudes could have hurt us for that. And we explained that to him. But something that I learned later on was my man was just doing business. That's all he was doing. He didn't tell us where he was getting the clothes from. We didn't know the clothes was fake. He knew they were fake, but he was doing business. It's business. It was business first. It wasn't the fact that he was trying to purposely put us in danger. He was just trying to, trying to get money. And he was going to use us to help him get his shit off, to get money, because we wanted to get money. And I say I said that story to bring up the situation that is currently going on with Joe Button and his podcast compadres, Rory and Maul. Now, as y'all know, there is no more everyday um, struggle with Maul, Rory, and Joe Buttons. There is no more the Joe Button podcast with them. There is no more. It's just Joe now. And I think Joe moved on because he has a Patreon deal where before they had the cash app deal. And Joe went on and cut them out the deal. And now Rory and Maul is saying that they're going to try to sue Joe Buttons for equity in the company because of all of the work that they put in. But this is an example of brothers. Don't forget. Don't ever forget. It's business first, man. When you meet a person on a business term, don't ever forget that that's what it is. No matter how friendly y'all may get, Y'all are friendly. Y'all are friendly because y'all are doing business. Things may have got a little personal because y'all doing business. So you might get cool with a person. And that's what happened with Rory, Maul, and 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 and, and Joey. Now, I'ma say Joey's a little foul because he got a little personal relationship with them dudes. And this, this is the dangers of forgetting that it's business first. Because a lot of times, a lot of times dudes, a lot of times dudes will try to suck you in into getting you to believe that it's not just business. When that is the terms in which y'all met upon, y'all met on the terms of business. So don't forget that that's what the relationship is built upon. You see, but it's a little different with, with Maul and Rory because they, they're actually friends with Joe. But one thing I also noticed, too, is a lot of the guys that get jerked in the industry. They always find a way to end up jerking somebody somewhere down the line. 
And I'm going to just go ahead and say this, man. I hope Rory and, and Maul get whatever they sue for. I hope they win. And I hope they never forget, man. If y'all ever see this video, Rory and Maul, tell the next young brother, don't ever forget that it's business. It's business, man. And that's how Joey treated y'all. And y'all should have knew that because whenever he was crying to y'all about the industry, he always talked about how he was a victim of business, of the business side of the game. And once he learned that shit, you think he wasn't going to find nobody to do that to, man? The locks did it to Jay Hood. The locks did it to D-Block and they artists because it happened to them. Don't ever forget, brothers. When you're dealing with certain people, don't ever forget that it's business, even with family sometimes. Don't ever forget that it's business, man. Until proven otherwise. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Fellas, get down in the description box. Join this A-game lifestyle, man. Join this A-game lifestyle. You could simply do that by hitting the link in the description box at your checkout. Type in promo code SHEEP in the number 10. That's SHEEP in the number 10 for a discount off on your purchase. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'm going to catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Believe me, I will be the greatest testosterone producer that God ever created. And I mean that. Sorry! This is A-Game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects.